Thank you for watching Nine Time News with Beverly Kidd, Royal Norman, and Ross Shimabuku. We're Free TV, Arizona's family. You know, most pet owners will do anything to save their four-legged friends. After all, they're part of the family. Tess Raffles is here to show us a new place that's helping save lives. Tess? Beverly, you know, for many emergency situations, dogs need blood just like people. But our pets actually have very few options because there are only several doggy blood banks in the entire country. Now, thanks to an Arizona woman and her love for animals, families and pets have another option. Down, down. 10-year-old Cassidy will do anything for a treat. She's probably more human than dog. And Cassidy's daddy. Come, give it to me. John Bork will do anything for her, just as he did last March when doctors found a mass in her abdomen. They came to realize that, that um, her spleen was bleeding. And from that point on, they, they were looking for blood. It's very likely that she would have died. Doctors at Southern Arizona Veterinary Specialty said Cassidy needed a blood transfusion to have the life-saving operation. So you usually can't wait, for, even for 24 hours, to have blood FedExed or sent in from another state. The closest blood bank was in California. Going good. Filling up nicely. Until recently. Arizona's first doggy blood bank is now up and running. Central Animal Hospital in Tucson is providing the veterinary services for the bank. Testing dogs, screening them for diseases, collecting blood uh, donations. Some two dozen dogs, like Luna, come in once a month to donate blood. The biggest trick is, is for them to sit still for uh, for the 10, 15 minutes that it takes, so we give them lots of hugs and lots of encouragement. That's a good girl, I know. Just like people, dogs have blood types. Taking a blood sample to screen is the first step. Only those with a universal blood type can become donors, so there's less risk of a transfusion reaction in the patient. In the end, only about half are eligible to donate. Chance's mom, Reagan Colseth, knows all too well the importance of blood donation. To be told there's no blood product, sorry, can't help you, you know, there isn't any blood in the state of Arizona, was mind-boggling. Reagan had to put her other dog, Murphy, to sleep last November when blood couldn't be delivered in time for surgery. Her frustration and her love for animals led to the creation of Murphy's Blood Bank in Arizona. It was his, his life and his death, actually, that brought the idea to both Dr. Samuels and I to start this blood bank and hopefully save others. The blood bank has already saved several dogs, including Cassidy. How's Cassidy been doing at home? She's been doing well. Good. She's given me a ton of joy. She's given me turmoil, but it was well worth the investment to make sure that she was taken care of. Now, for many emergency situations, as we were talking about, Dr. Samuels and Reagan plan to actually expand Murphy's blood bank so they can deliver and collect blood here in our area as well, eventually being able to supply blood throughout the entire country. And you may not know this, but there is always a critically low supply of canine blood, so to find out how your dog can become a donor, just log on to azfamily.com or call our hotline, 602-207-3646. We all know how much we...